If you like this video, please press like and consider subscribing. Thank you. The amazing progress China is making in past few decades when it comes to the scientific and technological breakthroughs has left many wondering what next. The astonishing progress in space exploration, rocket propulsion and advances overall has given China credible capability only dreamt a decade ago. Only recently China demonstrated a bit of what the country plans to do in the near future by sending a rover on the far side of the moon. By unveiling of Mars Base Simulator, a full-size base designed to operate self-sufficiently and house half a dozen astronauts, China is showcasing its know-how. Although base isn't designed to demonstrate future Mars base, as it was primarily built to educate and drive tourism and public interest in China. Before I continue, I would like to ask you to consider becoming my patrons by donating to my Patreon account. My YouTube channel just got demonetized and I would like to continue making videos, something many of you here like. But I'd rather maintain full editorial control over my videos on my channel and for that I need actual supporters. Link for my PayPal account and Patreon account in the description. Thank you. China is also developing a powerful rocket to help realize a more ambitious dream of sending a probe to Mars in 2020s. After that, Chinese scientists hope to explore asteroids and even land on one. The Long March 9 rocket, currently under development, will be the most powerful rocket built by China, capable of lifting 140 tons into low Earth orbit. 50 tons to the surface of the Moon and 44 tons to the surface of Mars. Long March 9 is still in early phase of development, with first flight scheduled for 2030. The rocket will spearhead China's manned mission to Mars and establishment of the lunar base. According to China's official news agency Xiaoshu, and quoting China's National Space Administration officials, China plans to establish a permanent lunar outpost within the next 10 years. If China manages to achieve such milestone, it will be the only second nation to successfully develop manned space program, land its astronauts on the surface of the moon, and construct an actual permanent base on the surface of another planet. The China National Space Administration, CSNA, intends to build a research station in the regions of the moon's south pole. Zhang Qiang, probably butchering his name, head of CSNA, said in public statement, Although it is not clear if China is going alone in establishing presence on the lunar surface, or future cooperation with European Space Agency or Roscosmos is very likely. NASA has some serious plans to return to the Moon by 2028, with plans for a permanent lunar base that will initially house a crew of 5 to 6 astronauts. The last time NASA or US had sent astronauts to the surface of the Moon was in 1972. After six successful lunar landings, NASA abandoned plans for permanent lunar base, which ended any US lunar ambitions for nearly 50 years. A recent change of tune in this regard has galvanized general mood for more action in this direction, with current US administration setting priorities for their return to the moon by 2024. Details of China's long-term lunar plans are still sketchy, but Chinese Space Administration has made significant steps towards lunar exploration. Earlier this year, the Chinese successfully landed a crewed Chang'e 4 rover on the far side of the moon and have also placed astronauts aboard two temporary space stations, Tianlong-1 and Tianlong-2. Their space agency also plans to put a larger, more permanent station into the orbit in coming years. The first part of the permanent station will reach the orbit aboard the country's new Long March 5B rocket in the first half of 2020. Things are certainly looking up for China.